Argonne National Laboratory senior physicist Robert Smither has an iron in many different fires. I get into astrophysics, uh, get into biology. I've actually worked with uh, uh, America's Cup team to make their boat go faster. He is also an expert in a process known as crystal diffraction, which filters neutron radiation through a lens to help create an image, like a camera. It has given the human eye a different perspective on distant star systems, radioactive hotspots around the world, and cancerous tumors in the human body. The body's been given radioactivity, which is concentrated in the cancer, and then my gadget would just pass over it and scan it in lines and give you an image so that the doctor could tell just what shape this cancer is and, and therefore improve his surgery if that's what's necessary. So those looking for Leonardo da Vinci's lost masterpiece, The Battle of Angiari, asked, could Smithers' 21st century technology help solve a 500-year-old art mystery? Can you look through a brick wall? And I said, yes. Researchers believe a brick wall stands in front of da Vinci's lost mural, put there in the late 16th century by the artist Vasari, who painted the frescoes now visible in the halls of the Palazzo Vecchio. This is a long time ago, 1505, 1565 when it was covered up. We don't know what shape it's in. To find out, an international research team first used traditional methods. They made a hole in the plaster, in the fresco, and they thought, that, they thought they saw some paint and then they made a bigger hole. The Italian government's been very hesitant to let people now start putting more holes in different places. And so that's why we've been asked to try to do this without touching the wall. All of the work, all of the holes that were put into the mural were either in areas that had been previously restored or fissures, so the original Vasari was not touched. The U.S. National Geographic Society's Terry Garcia says drilling those holes has produced evidence of organic materials consistent with paint used by da Vinci, leading researchers to believe the lost mural is there. The question now is, will it ever see the light of day without moving or damaging what stands in front of it? Smithers says it will take time and money to do it properly, but he hopes his crystal diffraction method will be able to look behind the current masterpieces that may hide the lost work of one of the world's most famous artists. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.